know this is for. But I feel like it needs to be said. Somebody out there is having a hard time on their daily life. They feel something. I'll call it conviction. They want to do better. They want to be more. They want to be respected. They go through their day taking shortcuts, doing the bare minimum that is needed to get by in their daily life and their job and their responsibilities at home, whatever the case may be. They start medicating with their guilt of conviction get home at night maybe they get drunk maybe they get high whatever it takes to take the edge off to quiet the voices that say hey you shouldn't have said that or hey you shouldn't have done that you know you could have actually done a little bit more there but you didn't can't sleep because the voices won't let you sleep. And you tell yourself, you tell yourself, tomorrow I'll do better. Tomorrow I will do better. I'll start getting it right tomorrow. Then they'll be proud of me. And then because the voices wouldn't let you sleep, the guilt wouldn't let you sleep, kids wouldn't let you sleep you oversleep and you you're late for work and now you're in a rush scrambling hurry up hurry up hurry up boss is gonna be mad man I can't believe you did that again dang it I'm so tired of doing this you get mad you fly out the door and forget your lunch forget your wallet get your coffee jump in the truck and head to work jump in the car head to work go to the office wh wherever you're going blowing through stop signs speeding down the road the boss calls why are you late again now you have to figure out another excuse yet again because you're too embarrassed to tell them the truth it's not their problem it's your problem you don't want to share your problem it's personal it's none of their business. And somehow you still got to find the courage and the strength to justify why you're late in the hopes that the boss will accept it and won't know what's really going on. And hopefully he won't be so mad at you that you don't get that raise you've been waiting for. Or worse yet, that they don't run you off or write you up or give you a suspension. It puts stress on your heart, puts stress on your mind. And all throughout the day, you're in a hurry trying to catch up. Full of stress, full of stress. What does that do? Weakens your immune system. Then you get sick. Now, not only have you been stressed out, worried, full of guilt, about all the little things you could have said different, all the little things that you didn't do that you should have done that you could have done but didn't want to. And now on top of all that, you got to take off work because you're sick. And the boss is like, again? You were just sick last month. And you think the boss don't know. He knows, she knows, whoever it is, they know. But they have a responsibility because they've got a bunch of other employees. Wouldn't be fair to them to give special favor treatment to you now, would it? So, <clears throat> tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. 
I'll do better tomorrow. That's the thing that keeps coming and running through your head. And then tomorrow comes and it's a repeat cycle of what happened yesterday. You forget about tomorrow, forget about yesterday. Focus on the now, right now, this very next second, this very next minute. Think about it right now. What are you going to do? You're going to have an opportunity to complain. You're going to have an opportunity to point out all the wrongs that have been done to you. Don't fall for it. It's a trap. First of all, be good to yourself. Be true to yourself. Don't lie to yourself. Selfishness Put self above everything else Put self above your friends Put self above your boss Put self above your God Put self above your job Put self above your kids Put self above your spouse That's selfishness And it's justified by saying I'm tired It's justified by saying I'm lazy It's justified by saying I don't feel like it. Well, to keep it Christian, screw your feelings, man. Man up. Feelings are data. They're used to process information so that your processing center, your brain, your mind, your heart, and tabulate all the information that you're getting and make a proper assessment and decision. So take the now. Focus on what you can do now. If you want to be the boss, then learn how to be a servant. If you want to be a boss, Learn how to be a servant leader. Even if you don't get the recognition right away. Do that little bit of extra that makes you different than everybody else. Do that little bit of extra that nobody else wants to do. Don't cut that corner. Don't take that shortcut. Make sure it's done right. When you go to bed at night, you won't have all those things to go through your head well, what if this goes wrong tonight because I forgot to do this or I chose to take a shortcut there? Then that won't keep you up at night anymore. If you do it right now, if you do it correctly right now, you don't have to have that thought come back to you tomorrow. What if? Because you know, and there's peace in that. Friends, I want you to have peace. I want you to rest at night, get sleep, wake up with joy in your heart, ready to go attack every obstacle that comes before you with vigor, with confidence, knowing that you have what it takes. You've been created for such a time as this and that it's all going to work out. Love you. Peace out.